Lesson 11, conjugate proofs. This one we have to prove that the conjugate of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to the conjugate of Z1 plus the conjugate of Z2. Now here what we'll do is we'll let Z1 equal A1 plus IB1 and Z2 equals A2 plus I. B2. This means that the conjugate of Z1 will be equal to A1 minus IB1 and the conjugate of Z2 will be equal to A2 minus IB2. Now Z1 plus Z2 will be equal to A1 plus A2 plus I outside of B1 plus B2. Just adding these two together and rearranging. Therefore, the conjugate of Z1 plus Z2 will be equal to A1 plus A2 minus I outside of B1 plus B2. Now on rearranging we get A1 minus IB1 plus A2 minus IB2. But this one here is equal to the conjugate of Z1 and this one here equals the conjugate of Z2. And thus the, uh, the theorem has been proven. Now in part two, given that A is a real number, we have to prove that the conjugate of AZ is equal to A times the conjugate of Z. Now again we'll let this time we'll let Z equals X plus IY. So the conjugate of Z must be X minus IY. Now AZ is equal to AX plus AIY. Therefore, the conjugate of AZ is equal to AX minus AIY. I take out A as a common factor. We get A outside of X minus IY. But X minus IY is the conjugate of Z. So that's equal to A times the conjugate of Z. Right, in this one we have to show that the square of the conjugate is equal to the conjugate of the square. So we'll let, we'll let Z equal A plus IB. So the conjugate is equal to A minus IB. Now we'll square the conjugate, and that's A minus IB all squared. That'll be A squared. Now when you square this, you're going to get a minus B squared, minus twice the product 2ABI. Now Z is equal to or Z squared is equal to A plus IB all squared <coughs> excuse me which is A squared minus B squared plus 2ABI so the conjugate of the square is equal to A squared minus B squared minus 2ABI but this is equal to this one. So we're going to say that the conjugate of the square is equal to the square of the conjugate. 